Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Darkest Dungeon, The Crimson Court. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we make our way to our Finding first boss the is only the first test. of the game. Now it must be carried home. Yeah, hopefully we will be carrying home a lot of treasure. I will probably be sleeping over there. Let's see what happens. But because, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. Hi! Oh, it's an easy one. Hopefully, I, nah, it's, it's rare that I get surprised on these ones. Let's see what I can do here. Almost a kill. That's not too bad. Uh, we get a scatter blast that's gonna kill the front guy. Destroy them all, come on. Them Aw, come all. on. <laughs> I was banking on a, on a, on a uh, two right there. So there we go. So, yeah, we're taking on the Necromancer. And the Necromancer is the first boss that I think we have found. Now, I say I think because we found a crocodile. Uh, sort of a, an abomination. It was like a mid-level boss, and that was very interesting, the fact that it was a, a mid-level boss. Uh, let's see what we have over here. Uh, yeah, probably the worst combination. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it's one of the worst combinations in here. One of the most important things that I've found uh, in between episodes is... Uh, okay, I can make you bleed. I think that might be a little bit better. Uh, is how to use the flagellant. I have learned... The game didn't really tell me, did it? I don't think it did. But I've learned that the flagellant likes being stressed. And when I say being stressed, he do, I do mean uh, he likes Press he likes having more than 100 stress. No Not more than 50%. So that's something very interesting. Um, to get easy, you, of course, can still suffer a, a heart attack, which is less than good. But um, yeah, so... Okay, he's gonna graveyard slash us. A dodge, very nice. Um, so, that is something that I didn't know. But uh, we're taking on our only our first boss that I actually know what I'm doing at. So hopefully things will go well. I think things will go well because we're we've been doing good so far. We've taking taking a little bit of stress over here that I prefer I would prefer not to take on. But let's see what this guy does. Uh, he moves to the front. That's not too great. That's not too great. Let's see. I'm gonna try and attack you here. Oh, come on, that was a miss. It's not too good either. Ooh, we got a critical, finally! Okay, so only... Only here... Oh, is that Dismas? That's Dismas, right? Oh, I, didn't, I don't have my names up. Oh, my names are not up. That's bad, that's bad. I apologize. Should have them up, but... I forgot about the notes. Yeah. So, uh, that's gonna have to wait for next episode in that regard. What do we have? Do you move forward? No, you don't, so just... Man, we're missing a lot. Okay, but at least now she can start attacking. Let's see if I can kill- Another one falls. Burning the holy flame, she says. Not in that voice, though. She has, she has a sweet voice. The the I like to think that she has a sweet voice and that uh, the Blake Doctor has n a not sweet voice. This is just like, ah, you stupid. Because she's a doctor. Get it? So she's like abrasive just to pervert expectations. Their formation is broken. They're all broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, so this is pretty good. A good opportunity for us to sleep at. Uh, this is not gonna free our. Uh, this is not gonna free our. Um, our stress because we don't have a. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna need to throw away. These or that. The uh, that cannot be used. Yeah. I'm gonna throw away these. Okay. Let's do it like that. Let's. Uh, Use that on the next uh, little little bit. I got a hiccup. Let's go and sleep and uh, a have moment a feast. Of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Pretty good. Now you have minus 15 stress to all companions, uh, and they also take less stress overall. So that's just a fantastic ability. That's usually the abilities I like to have. Abilities that reduce stress because that's usually one of my b very big problems. Uh, th all throughout the game is just uh, having high stress. Uh, and of course the game focuses on that, that's the point, uh, is being able to manage the stress, but um, I like I like just having low, as low stress as possible. And I like to think that I do a good job on that account. Uh, when a companion takes minus stress, I don't think we are going to need that. Mm, yeah, my, uh, plus accuracy and plus critical chance. Yep, that's for you, okay. I was going to give it to, um, to Berniers over here, and that's Corsom. And it's Dismas over there and Lokino you know, back here. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's rest. We might be assaulted in the night. I feel strong and powerful. Uh, let us carry on. Yes, let us. I've uh, seen nothing I am not prepared for. We are as straight-backed as a, a royal guard. That's it. No sleep for us, says that guy. 
Our ladder is well stocked. Yeah, let's go. Oh no. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, Ooh. a glint of gold. Uh, well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Let's see. We got five to nine over there. And uh, yeah, this is not going to kill us. Kill them. So if that bleeds, that's a, a kill. Yes. Uh, and then you need to stun that one. And I think you can. There we go. I think that was a short. Yeah, it's a short fire stun, as it were. A smack with a mace. The vessels are pretty powerful. I like. I, I don't usually do it, but I like it when my uh, surges as the enemy when my team can is, is basically multi-purpose and just can go from side to side. As the light gains purchase, that's good. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. That's really good right there. Unfortunately, we're gonna need to give you up. And look at that! I should have given this one up. <laughs> Actually, I can give you up as well. Who do we have in terms of healing? That needs healing. Nobody. So yeah, throw that away. I think we'll be fine. So, five... Uh, yeah, you're gonna use this right there. Divine Benefit. Whew. A heal and a stress relief. Man, that's proper. <laughs> that is really... I forgot that that was that powerful. Or maybe it never was. And look at that. We can't... Mm, I don't feel this too well. Oh, the heart has nothing. Sometimes it has good stuff. Even if you don't, you know, ha use the... Uh, Holy water to uh, purify its remains or the remains of whatever is in there. Okay, so we have another room. Didn't get the scouting chance, but we know for a fact that it. Well, I know for a fact you guys might doubt me, but you don't doubt me anymore. The room of the boss. Yeah, we're going there. There we go. Okay, not a bad encounter. They're surprised, so that's really good, actually. Uh, I'm gonna want to focus on. This guy, 73% chest to hit, 4 to 8 damage, deal 7, okay, that's good. And then you have, that does a little bit of damage, that can kill him, I don't think I need that, I'm gonna try and stun you. And the reason why, I, okay, he gets stunned, great. The reason why I don't think I need that is misguided, because he will not be able to attack him. So, we got stress incoming. So let's see if I can kill this guy. I can't. So let's just go ahead and kill this one. There we Be go. gone, fiend. Yeah. Tempting goblet for Berniers. He takes all the wine or whatever that is. Kind of looks like wine. Probably is not. Uh, graveyard slash for Corsome. He takes the damage and that's that. Okay. Not too bad. Another tempting goblet for Lokino. She dodges it like a pro. Only with four dodge. That's brilliant. Uh, let's see if I can kill you. Probably don't need that. Let's go with that. No. It's good. It's good that I did it like that, because uh, he was going to dodge if I shot him alone. Well, RNG never works like that, but you never know. So let's uh, see if I can move. Oh, come on. Seriously. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Okay, now you're going to... Might as well do that. Vigor is restored. There we go. Okay, so at least we minimized some of that ability, some of that thing. Mm. It's a shame that that happens, but I'm really gonna need to attack him. Uh, I'm gonna need to stun him, that's what I'm gonna do. See if he's brought forward. Okay, so that's great. So he's gonna be able to kill both of those, and I'm gonna try and shoot you instead. Uh, well, yes. I'm gonna need to kill both of those. A dodge right there, like a pro. So you get with a critical, very nice. So things are going really well in this mission. I'm really glad for that. I remind you, I haven't upgraded any of these guys. So let's see what I can do here. Seventy-three percent chance to hit that guy. I do, and he As dies. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, now another shot over there. It's unlikely that I kill him. It was unlikely that I missed, but that I missed. That was a twenty percent chance to miss. But there we go. Okay, so he's stunned. So that guy's very slow. So he's probably gonna die. The wounds hmm. of war can be healed. Okay, graveyard slash for Berniers. A dodge. He's got fourteen dodge. He's got a lot of dodge. Why? Is that normal? I suppose it is. Okay, so he's down, and the other guy is gonna die as well, hopefully. Not too fast, so should be okay there. Go with that. Perfect. Really, really good, actually. Okay. This expedition at least promises success. It does. It very much does. It also promises a lot of treasure, and I don't think I'll go back to get that little bit of treasure. But maybe we are. It depends on what I have. I mean, it could be for free, but here we are. Fierce, terrible, nightmare made material. Must it all end in such blackness, says the Vestal. Uh, Lockino, I should say. 
Uh, yes, this is the Necromancer, uh, uh, Necromancer Apprentice. He's not undead. You will notice that his hands are, well, he's a creature. Or something, anyway. So he likes bleeding. Well, he doesn't like bleeding, but I like applying bleeding to him. So that's bri brilliant right there as a, a good ability. The problem with him is that he, each time he attacks, and he only attacks once per turn, uh, and he also can be stunned, which is not that that difficult, but I will, will not be relying on that. Uh, he attacks once per turn, uh, and he uh, brings this guy, uh, brings uh, one of these things to the front. So hopefully, I'll be able to kill them, and uh, he, I'll be able to keep him at the front, because I really can't attack the back. Grievous well, I can, injury. it's just not very reliable. Beer. Okay, so now you can make him bleed, but you can attack him. Okay, so we're gonna need to kill these two guys, which is unlikely. I am also... Let's see, does he like... Oh, he doesn't have move resist. So I'm gonna do this and pull him to the front. He resists the move. Okay, so he does have move resist. There we go, Compassion pretty good. Is a rarity in the fevered pitch Maybe I slash that for Dismas. He doesn't dodge. And now I can do this. And bring this... Oh yeah, the corpses. I forgot about the corpses. You need to pull him, man. You need... Oh, does that clear corpses? He doesn't. He's got only 25% move resist. What does he do when he's at the front? 60 feet under. He, well, if someone's, he moves to the back. That's what he does. But he does clear the corpses. Which matters to nothing, because... Yeah. That's a pretty nasty thing. I'm gonna need to, to rely on his stun. Oh, on stunning him, then. Uh, because otherwise, it's just very bad. I mean, I can continue attacking him, but yeah, even at the back line. Because okay, he clears the corpses when that happens. And of course, we will lose our mind. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna bring him forward. I'm gonna need to stun him because it's too bad. Okay, I have a. 50% chance that I stun him if I hit him, and I did, and he, well, at least he's brought to the front. Uh, and Compassion is a rarity. we have a Crusader over here, Bumpy the Knight. Not a critical, that's all that matters really, so he doesn't go into overdrive. Let's see what I can do here. Critical chance is 5%. 13 damage, that was very high damage, actually, for what he could do. Okay, now he has, oh, he only moves once. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. That's interesting, okay. So, I'm gonna try and pull him again. 75% that I pull him, 90% that I hit him. Man, I'm just unlucky. I like to think that, anyway. But it's definitely, definitely doable. As long as Dismas can continue doing what, he, what he's doing, we'll be fine. And then in here, I'm probably gonna attack this guy or something like that. Uh, they're both, yeah. And then I can go with the uh, Zealous Accusation on the next turn. Or maybe I can even not attack him and just do the... Uh, Clawing dead, what's that? Oh, that's right. Summoning things from below. Brace yourself, stand your ground. Uh, should probably do this. Get two kills in. These guys are pretty weak, but not weak enough. I'm gonna try and bring him to the front. Come on, you just need to do that properly. Oh, seriously, his move resist is 25. Missed, oh boy. Well, the I should have killed him. I should have killed obey. him. I should have, because he, when he summons, he clears all the corpses. I am doing a bad. I'm doing a bad. Okay, so I probably should go. Minimum damage. Come on. Have some respect. Okay. Um. Then kill him. Yep. I think that's the best one. Rather than trying to pull him to the front. The flesh of his willing. Ringing ears. He's still all crazy. He didn't. approaches. He doesn't clear the corpses. He clears the corpses if he moves back. So... Nice. Back to the pit. Yeah. Okay, at least I can pull him to the floor, try to stun him or something. Oh my Mortality god. Clarified in a single strike. Okay, now. Bernier's resolve is tested. He's selfish. Uh, that's to be expected. Count the gold again. I have teeth tithes to pay, not teeth. Um, okay, so let's try and stun him and bring him to the front. He resists both. Oh my god. I just need to keep attacking him because this guy I can deal with. Yeah, just keep doing that. And actually rolling the twos right here. Uh, and then you can 
not kill that guy. Are you gonna say something? Okay. Again. Not a critical this time, though. Oh, it's a death store. Shouldn't be a problem. Set the stage for heroism. Shouldn't be a problem. We're gonna bring him down, don't worry. And especially if I do this. And succeed. Okay, he's stunned, so he's not gonna attack, but that guy might. Of course, that Ooh. solves the problem. Sedated. Don't say like that. Sedated. Like it's some sort of sin or something. Uh, okay, so you're gonna attack both of them like that. Ooh, very minimal damage. Why? Did he? Oh, because of the affliction. Well, my minus 10% is not too much. Okay, so now he's... I can't attack him. But I can pull him. He's not move resist. So let's bring him to the front. There we go. Okay, so he's at our mercy. Lovely. Yeah, I was counting on being able to, uh, to stack a couple of those. Stop! That one belongs to the light. What did he do? Oh, he's, con he's complaining. Eight. Okay, he's got six. Uh, we can't attack with her. With a critical, very nice. Very nice. Okay, graveyard slash for Berniers. That's what you get. Oh, he's dodging like a pro. My god, that's really good. Oh, he can dodge because of his affliction? That's lovely. Attacked the wrong guy, by the way. You might have noticed the misclick. Will I pay? I will not. Not too much, anyway. Teetering on the brink. That's fine. Facing the abyss. It's the, the abyss is very nice. It's very pretty. It's got some some hints of red and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so you die. With no living sinew to actuate them, will these walking bones finally fail? Hmm. They. Oh, we moved back. Yeah, sometimes that happens. There we go. Executed with they impunity. fail because we killed them. Perfect. Okay, now that he's selfish, he's gonna steal stuff. So I'd, ri I'd rather like that mount, not to be the so case. So too will resistance. It's very good stuff. Oh, by the way, we lo when we lost our, par our old party, we lost all the items that we had in there. Uh, we lost basically all the loot and all that, so that's something that I didn't say on camera. I was looking at, at it off camera. I was like, where's my items? Where are my items? Well, I said things. Uh, but there we go. We did our first boss, which is great because all of these guys... Oh, also because of this. What is that? Delayed Curse Craving. Oh, that's right. We do still don't have that. And to be honest, I'm kind of afraid. From what I've heard, I'm kind of afraid of having guys with a, with a blood curse. But there we go. Let's see what we have. Resolve level up. Well, that's that. Okay, off guard. That's on the first round. That's not too bad. And that's actually decent on the ranged skills. Ruined Scrounger. Okay, so that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. So, on the mission after the next one, because... A fresh irritant yeah. to some. A sanguine memory to me. Because we need to heal some of these guys. Speaking of which, let's see if I can get a discount. Is you're still there? Yeah, sometimes that happens. Uh, I have uh, an extra slot over here. Do you like going in there? Do you have any terrible thing? Oh, you're light sensitive. That's not... That's not good at all. What is that? Minus damage? Oh my god, that's terrible. Okay, sanitarium with you. Immediately. Just, just, yep. Sanitarium. Can I get uh, a discount here? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's pretty good. No, get in there. Perfect. Uh, okay, so... You kind of can survive... Yeah, he needs to level up, so I'm gonna bring him with me. Uh, and they kind of just generally lose stress over time, which is pretty decent. Uh, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need... We have two Vestals. Where's our class? Sort by class. Yeah, we have two Vestals, so we don't, don't need another one. We do need another Cultist. And I think to that one will have a name. One I'll just must need to get it, it next episode, if you don't mind. Because I forgot. I forgot the... the I have a, a list that you guys give me your names, and I put them there. And then, by order of priority, by order of what you want to be, I add... The, I name them, but I forgot today. I apologize for that. But stay tuned. You, you're not forgotten. You're not forgotten at all. If you want to have a name in here, just let me know. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we got a fairly good amount of treasure already. And these all can be sold, I think, by pressing shift. Yeah. Ooh, quite a lot of money. Good. Good stuff. Okay. So, we're... What are we gonna do? Can't go in there, because that's terrible. We have already a level 3 dungeon over here that we can't embark on. Well, we could, but it's kind of dangerous to do that. Uh, so let's sort by level. Let's uh, let's go to the wield. We haven't been there yet, so I think that's gonna be an interesting one. It's a short mission. We got short. Oh, we got a medium one over here. I think that one might be a little bit better. Uh, we have a plenty of crests though. What does the wield give us? Crests and portraits. Portraits. I kind of need deeds though. Oh, these are the deeds one. That's for the leper. Eh. Let's go to the cove. I do like the cove, so 
I think that's gonna be a good plan. Let's see who, are, who we're gonna take. Oh, the stress is gonna murder us all. <laughs> and also, that she's not a great... She's not a great companion. Uh, we're gonna need... Yeah, we're gonna... It's, it's good that we're going for a short because I, I want them to max out their stress. Uh, so I can get the best out of my uh, out of my time with them. Uh, let's see, getting some of these guys down here. I count Ravencrest. You're coming with me now that I know how you work. You're gonna be amazing. You're gonna stress out the other ones, but you're gonna be amazing. Uh, so right there, I shall be a soldier against corruption. You shall be. Oh, you like to be at the front? Yeah. Well, I can bring your. You, you can come with me. You could come with me. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, let's see what we have over here. So, uh, Blight, Resist, Delayed Curse, don't need that. Scouting Chance. I can go for you. What is that? Minus Speed? Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, plus one Speed. Mm, that can offset your Minus Speed, I suppose. It's not that it matters too much. Plus Scouting Chance. Oh, you know what? Oh, who's the... Oh, no, the Trapped Disarm. But you need Speed. Okay, so sp plus Speed is for you. And I'm gonna give you that. Uh, bleed skill chance. Don't really have that. Well, he does. He does, actually. So let's go with that. And I got speed on the first round, which is pretty awesome. And I like that. So I'm going to give you that instead. And I'm going to give that to her. Right there. And we have plus protection, which probably should go for you because you're the frontliner. In my experience, it doesn't really matter. But um, having guys at the front and all that. But... Still, I'm gonna go with that. So we're gonna get some good stuff out of there. Our objective is to complete 100% room battles in the cove. We haven't been here before. Uh, we are gonna take... Left click, please. Uh, six of those. Three of these. It's a special place. I'm not gonna take any skeleton keys because it's unusual that we find that in the cove. Or stuff that actually matters in the cove. I'm gonna take one of these. One of these. Um, take those. That should be okay. Take an extra one just because he can bleed, pe uh, make people bleed, and that's nasty. Uh, and then uh, I don't know how to use these in the cove, so I, I do know how to use the holy water, but that's about that. Uh, the anti-venom, actually, I do, I think. It's been a while. It's been a while, but let's see. Here we are. Tentacled lurkers lie in wait just below the water surface. Tread carefully. It's a good thing we have the bounty hunter, because the cove... These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Oh, that's nice. We know there's no enemies over there, so we don't need to go there. Hmm. Good stuff. Let's the hiccup. Uh, so, basically, what he needs to do is to stress himself. Uh, eerie Coral. No. The Coral is soothing to the mind. No! I didn't want that! Okay. Yeah, this place has enemies that are... Absolutely horrible. These ones are pretty bad. The pelagic groupers. But there's enemies that are just absolutely horrid and just awful in all in all ways. Oh, Seaward Slash. Give him give him stress. No, don't kill him. Ugh. Well, I can heal him at least. He's got a buff. To perform beyond okay. one's limits. So value below 50%, heals 33% maximum health. Um uh, on him, 34, why is, is it listed doubled? Uh, and it debuffs him, so that that's not too good. This one, it also, oh, it makes them bleed. Okay, so yeah, it makes them bleed. I, I'm gonna try and kill you, see if what, what happens. So he's bleeding for four, so he's dead. Not right now, but he will be. Spear fishing, yeah, these guys do a lot of damage, that's right. Uh, okay, so that's pretty nasty. Spear fishing back there, to Nofmarsh, Nofmarsh. Uh, and then you need to heal him. Please get me a good roll. A two. Please don't make him bleed. He doesn't. And then you can stun some of these guys, like that guy over there. No, you can't, because he dodges. I just hope the these guys don't die. Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Uh, okay, so I could go for a kill over there. Oh, no, that heals the other. Oh, that's an interesting thing. Okay, I like that. So he's a healer. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna kill you. Continually onslaught. And now, of course, he attacks Count Raven Crest. Raven Crest, come on! And now I'm gonna try and get you down. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Uh, let's see if I can stun him. If he's stunned, 
he resists. Okay. Not very good. Spear roll. Oh my god. Yeah, he really needs a good a good roll. He's not very he's very squishy. Well, these guys are very powerful. Okay, so you need Come on, at least don't make him bleed. He didn't. Uh okay. I'm gonna try and stun you. And that's that. And then you can kill him. It's unlikely. No, we deal minim minimum damage. He resists the stun. Um can attack him though. So let's do that. As the fiend falls. Because I can heal next. A faint hope blossoms. Okay. Yeah, it's it's going well. It's going well. Let's see. 13, that's what I'm banking on. Yeah, that's why the cultists can be a little bit crazy to use. Not the cultists, the occultist can be a little bit crazy to use. Uh, let's get uh, just a normal attack right there. Do you still have a debuff? Yes, you do. That's okay. That's why he doesn't do as much damage. There we go. Is broken. Okay. Maintain the offensive. Not bad. For a first battle in the cove, for this campaign, that really was not bad. I am satisfied with that. Let's go for an, the next one. At least we know that that uh, it's not going to be a, an extremely long run. Another mariner. Simply because of another you know, misfortune. Yeah, they went down. Oh, look at that! Our old friends, the brigands. Oh, well, actually, yeah, they are brigands. That's right. Uh, so I'm going to try and uh, work on you guys up here. So that's a good one because I can do this back there and make them bleed and then you can hopefully kill this guy no it's unlikely but I, I might as well Confidence <laughs> surges as the enemy <laughs> pretty crumbles. awesome and then I hopefully can stun you so at least I'm working yeah there we go I'm working towards an objective and those guys are gonna bleed themselves out blanket fire oh everybody dodges come on that's good that's good I'm not complaining another dodge please eh, well we got one dodge that's so that's a thing yeah yeah, we can indeed. Uh, okay, so I want you dead. Although that might not happen too soon. I'm gonna continue with that. Does he get the debuff? Oh, he gets the debuff for... Minus bleed resist. Oh, on the target. Oh. So basically, the more you do this... Oh, he's a great guy for a backliners. For the Necromancer, he's fantastic with that ability. Okay, he's just dodging like crazy. That's amazing. Diminished. <laughs> there we go. And, uh... How much are you bleeding for? Okay, so they're both dead. Yeah, okay, so now healing round, Confusion, basically. Uh, let's get you a heal. Let's get uh, her. Restoration zero. Did I do it wrong? Oh, she's healing per round. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I might as well attack. And then he can heal her as long as these Great guys don't die. The weapon that cuts on its own. No, they do. Okay. I think she's gonna heal anyway, even out of combat. So. so clearly, and that view. must be a, a brilliant ability. Or yeah, is she it is. Merely a trick of the light. That must be a brilliant ability for late game, right? Is she still healing? For one round. That's anyway. That's good. Okay. Let's go for the next battle. Oh, actually, we're out of time for the day. Oh, my God. The time just flies by. It, I... Oh, my God. So, yeah, that's going to be that for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one, of course. I am Colonel RPG, and uh, this has been Darkest Dungeon. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.